My name is Luca Batuali. I'm also known as B-Boy Lazy Legs, and this is Ill Abilities Crew. I'm Sergio Carvajal, uh, B-Boy Checho, and I come from Chile. Hello, my name is Jiang Suli, also known as uh, B-Boy Crops. I'm from South Korea, Vision MC, SA Point, and Ill Ability. Yo, what up? My name is Samuel, uh, B-Boy Samuka, and I'm from Brazil. So I founded the crew back in 2007-2008 um, with the idea of creating an international dance crew comprised of differently able dancers, uh, basically an all-star team or a super crew of some of the best dancers in the world, but they all are differently abled. Uh, we also have Cujo from Los Angeles, we have uh, Ridu from Holland, we have Perninha from Brazil, and uh, Tommy Guns who lives in Japan. Um, so um, the crew is really international. I like to say that like we're like the United Nations of breaking crews. We compete competitively in the international dance circle, whether it's as the crew or individual individuals in the crew. Uh, we also have theatrical dance performances. We teach workshops, uh, and we have a message, uh, and that message is no excuses, no limits. We want to encourage people of all abilities, all ages, uh, all races, all genders to pursue their passion. Whatever it is, find a way to do it your own way, and that's what no excuses, no limits is all about. Because I think of the, the pressure and the risks that we're taking all together and the fact that we're all there for the same reason and the same goal, um, there is this like this bond that gets formed by the end of the tour where uh, we really ended up creating some a brotherhood that became more of a family. It's a dance crew, a company, whatever you, you want to call it, but at the end of the day, uh, more importantly, it's a family. Each one of these dancers has been um, internationally recognized as some of the best in the world. So when you put us all together, it's really just like this idea of like an atomic bomb. It's just like when people see us and like when we're competing, uh, they're like, people are scared to battle us because they know that we're gonna give the energy and we're gonna give fire. And um, just being able to share this, like being next to these people and being like with some of the best dancers in the world, it's like, it's a really uh, exceptional feeling and uh, it pushes me on a daily basis to push myself even harder within my dance and um, just even within my own personal life too. My name is Luca Batuali. I'm also known as B-Boy Lazy Legs and I am a B-Boy. The beauty about breaking is that it's really about having your own unique style. And considering my difference, um, I had to learn how to create movement on my own. Whenever I would go to practice with my friends, they were all doing different types of movements. A lot of it was like using their legs, so footwork and just different traditional foundational steps to this dance. And I wasn't really able to do those movements. But one thing that I had that my friends didn't have was a stronger upper body. So I started using the strength in my arms to create movements. I was doing this my own way. I've been dancing for over 13 years now. To this day, I still feel that I have not accomplished half of the movements that I'd love to be able to learn. However, this dance allows you to be free. The minute I hear the music, I completely forget about my difference or my ill ability, and I just end up being like everyone else. Illability, um, it's a term that I created about 10 years ago. The whole idea is to take the word disability out of the dictionary and replace it with ill ability. You see, in hip hop, what's bad is good. So when you see something you like, you say, yo, that's ill. And so ill abilities actually means incredible abilities. And whether you have a disability or not, I personally believe that we all have a talent hidden within us, but we're all unique and we all have something special to give to this world. The move that's meaningful to me is uh, my elbow spin. 
It's one of my signature moves, and I actually ended up creating this movement through a mistake that I made at a practice. Uh, in dancing, we have this philosophy called crash and create. So essentially, if you're going to go into a move and you're going to crash and slip out of that movement, how can you end up creating a new movement? And so my elbow spin was actually created off a crash. When I was going into a flare, I ended up slipping. I fell on my elbow, and my body just started spinning naturally. And so once I got back up again from the crash, I was like, yo, I'm going to be able to create a new movement. And that's how my elbow spin was created. While I'm dancing or while I'm moving and while I'm spinning, I really just try to concentrate on that present moment. Essentially, at the end of the day, I just let go. And when I hit the move successfully, I feel that I move the way I've always wanted to move. If your heart is beating, you're creating a rhythm within your body. Whether you know it or not, you're dancing. I am the founder of Ill Abilities Crew. I started the crew back in 2007 with this idea of creating an all-star team, a super crew comprised of some of the world's best dancers that are differently abled. It's our first time as the Ill Abilities crew to be here in Singapore. The workshop uh, actually is uh, one of the best experience we have here in Singapore because the energy of the kid uh, is incredible. I make a point every time I deal with kids like these to, to treat them like anyone else. We treat them no differently than I would treat uh, a, another group of kids that has no intellectual delays or no disabilities. And I think that's important because we like to be treated no differently than anyone else. There's so many different layers to what disability is. One misconception is the minute that you're labeled disabled, it's just one type of disability. So people assume that you can't do something. Yeah, because he only has three fingers, we give a high three like this. <laughs> we have an expression in the English language uh, that's very unfortunate, which is deaf and dumb. I am completely deaf in my right ear, profoundly deaf in my left ear, and I do wear one hearing aid. Whenever I tell someone I can't hear what they're saying, or I say, what? They just assume that I'm dumb. Too dumb to understand what they're saying. Rather than taking the effort to maybe rephrase what they were saying, or be a little more clear, a little louder, whatever the case may be. And if they were to give me a chance, they would find out that it's quite the opposite. That's the whole concept behind ill abilities, is that it's the opposite of disability. It's about taking what is negative and transforming it into a positive. If you gave many disabled people a chance, you would find out what they're capable of. Once you do, you discover amazing things about people. We are! We are!